John Halloran. I'm really excited to show you the new head pointing option that comes on Lamp Words for Life uh, iOS version. So it activated there because I was having it where it's activating. So if I hit here in the middle where pause is, it'll pause until I go back to resume. And you see it's a little lighter trail now. I'm really excited about this. I think there's a lot of individuals who are going to really benefit from this, this access method. The thing about head pointing is it is a form of direct selection. You go directly to the spot you want by moving your head. Uh, and it feels like you're kind of looking at it, but you're actually just moving your head up and down. So if I move my head up, you can see that little it goes to the top. And if I move my head down, it goes to the bottom and then right and left. Now you want to make sure you get an OT and a team because this could be hard on a kid's neck or muscles. And uh, this works about best from about 12 inches to about 36 inches away. And you want to play and make sure it's mounted correctly and use your professionals to get this done correctly for somebody. But it is a really exciting option as it is a form of direct selection and it can be very, very efficient. I really like it because I think a lot of people have make the mistake of going with larger buttons with people who use head pointing. And they really have a hard time getting off the button as much as they have selecting it and then they get messy hits that way. So there's a lot of neat features of uh, Pre-RC Saltillo did a great job of developing this as a product, I think. And uh, I've been playing with it, and I'm really impressed. Uh, we have several ambassadors that are going to be showing people how it works, but uh, that will come later. For now, I'm just getting kind of giving you this news that it's out there. It's exciting, and how do you try it yourself? Well, first, you have to update your app, and probably update your iPad is always a good idea to make sure they're both at their latest version. You have to make sure that you're using a front-facing, true front-facing camera. And so that's the first thing you have to make sure. Now, that started in about 2018, so you should be good there, depending on what iPad you're using. How do you turn it on? So what you do is you go to Menu right here, then you go to Settings, and as you scroll down, it takes a while to get to the spot. You'll actually have a spot that'll say Head Pointing. And none of the options exist until you hit head pointing. So this, it'll look like this. It'll say enable head pointing. So you see that right there? It says enable head pointing. Once you swipe that to turn it on, then all these features come on. I'm going to try to go over these features just so you get a, I wouldn't call this a course on it, but just an overview. The first thing you're going to have to do is hit center. This will happen automatically when you first turn yours on. And that'll let you calibrate it. All you did is take your head and look at the, take your eyes and your head and look at the center there. And I'm really impressed with how well it does. So anyway, you hit, you'll, you, after, the, if you want to recalibrate it, you hit center and it finds your head and then now it knows where you are. Uh, if you're standing behind somebody, be careful because it finds the biggest face. And uh, I have a big face, so I would be a tough candidate to be, to be standing behind a kid. It might see my face or an adult, it might see my face. But I'm going to go over through these settings with you, just my sort of, uh, instead of you having to read about which one does, just, just sort of get an idea. Tracking speed, it, it, you have different options here from slow to normal. Slow, I think, is, the, is optimal for me. Um, it basically, it feels like, uh, it's kind of a weird wording because it says slow or fast. But if I put mine on very fast and then I say done, what ends up happening is I, I have to move my head. See how fast it's moving? But it also makes me move my head a very small amount. So a very little movement will take it all the way over to one side, and a very little movement will take it all the way to the, over the other. So now it's moving very fast. But it's actually moving, making me move my head very little also. So it's kind of a, a the title might be confusing, but it's something you have to play with because depending on the person's movement, if they have a lot of movement with their head, where their head moves from side to side or up and down and have a lot of movement, then you'd want to make the tracking speed slower. And I have good head movement, so I want mine to be a little slower than, so it moves, so I have to move my head more to make it move. It'd be moving too fast if I had it on fast. All right, so that was tracking speed. Cursor shape, so you get these different options to make it a dot, and that's just what you see. If I make it a, say, crosshair, and then I start moving my head around, you'll see see a crosshair moving around there. Now, I don't really like that one myself. I like to, so when I go back to that tracking speed, uh, my cursor, I want to see the dot. And so now when you see, uh, you see I get that dot. See it in the middle there? There's that dot. I couldn't really see the crosshair very well. Okay, it, it is better when you're on resume too. So when I'm actually on resume,
back up and come back on there. See, now I see it's a lever. Now, I'm still moving really too fast for me. So for whatever reason, when I went in here, I don't know if I have to do done to get out of there. So I'm going to go back to my head tracking speed. I'm going to go to that tracking speed. I'm going to make sure mine gets on slow. It says slow. I'm going to say done, and now I'm going to see if it changed it. Yeah, now it's marking fine. Now it's moving real slow again. So I'm not sure what happened there. I must might have to get out. Yeah, it's moving nice and slow now the way I like it. You can see when I get on one of the Good. I'll explain that other part later, like how I see that little, but I'm paused it again. Okay, back to the settings. Just play, you're not gonna, you know, like me, I, you, did, you just, uh, this video is not perfect, but it, I'm playing, I'm learning with you. So you get back to where it says head pointing, and then you get head tracking. I keep calling it head pointing, they're calling it head tracking. So the tracker speeds back at slow, which I can tell is working better again for me. I have it on dot. Off-screen triangle. When I go way off to the side like this, a triangle shows up. Again, it's better when, and that triangle tells me when my head's off the screen, which is kind of nice uh, because uh, then I can rest that way. But what really, what's really kind of nice, again, on this similar feature that you have to turn on, is where I go to this spot and I hit, hit pause and resume. So when it's brighter, it's work, it's working now. And then when I go up here and touch pause, it pauses, and that gives me the ability to rest or not have to worry about it activating. All right, I know there's a lot to learn here. If you email me, I'll send you a cheat sheet. All right, so we're back to the going back to the settings. Let's make sure I didn't go too fast. So once you got the head tracking, you turned it on. That was here. Then you got these different adjustments. You had to calibrate it by hitting the center, and you're between 12 and 36 inches away. You hit your tracking speed. I am recommending the slower speeds, and but again, play with it. If they have a lot of movement, go slower. If they have very little move or movement, and then you get to side to side, go to faster. Cursor shape, I really like dot, but you have different cursors you can have. See, mine's got that dot. If you look where work is, you'll see that little dot and that circle going around it. And then you have your trigger action. You can see mine set on hover, and once I, set, once I told it I wanted to use hover, then it gave me the ability to pick the time. So right here when I picked hover, then it gave me this ability to change the time, how long I look at it before it activates. Now, you can use blink, but I wear glasses. And I noticed, so when you look at your tr trigger actions, so you have none, which would basically wouldn't allow you to use the device. Hover is where you hover over it for a length of time. And I set mine to 0.85 or 0.9 seconds, so about a second. You can use blink, you can use mouth open, eyebrows up, tongue out, smile and frown. Now, if you wear glasses, I found the blink can be a little bit of a problem, but I really found the smile to work really well for me. Uh, so if I go to smile and I say done now, and I get it up there and I give myself a big smile. So I get it to eye and I smile. I get it to the like and I, I like. smile, it works pretty well. So anyway, I, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I, I don't know exactly who the engineers or people that worked on this, but they did a great job and I should get their names for you. Um, okay, so we were back to, we got to the head tracking again and I'm gonna go through them quick. We turned it on, we calibrated it. We got our speed set for the type of movement they have with their head. I really do like dot. We got the triangles working so we can tell we're off the screen. We got mindset on smile, which we're just going to leave it there for now, and uh, play with those different options. Then trigger sensitivity. That's really how much did it, I have to smile? Did I still have to smile big, or could I smile just a little bit? And I set mine to medium. But you could change your sensitivity. If you're having, if they're having trouble activating, go to high. If it's too, activating too often, go to low. And the blink works perfect too. If you don't have glasses, my glasses seem to give it a little bit of trouble. Um, where it says rest area, um, uh, that this is after this is giving me that spot right there that gives me a spot where I hit. Re I forgot I had to smile, so I get on my spot. I smile. I like. And then I get to my two and I smile. Two. And I get down there and I find talk. Talk. You got it. So when I get to a spot, 
What I want is rest. I can go up there and hit rest. All right, so now I'm back to settings to show you some more features they have, which is really pretty impressive. All right, takes me a while to scroll down there. Forgive me for that. I'm going to skip some of this. I don't go over them every time, but we just did rest area, which gives us this resume. It gives us an area to uh, rest when we want, don't want to work. I like trigger action to be on pop. I don't like none. A dot's all right, but I like it to pop. I like it to tell me to pop. You selected the location. Highlight buttons. That's what gets that really nice trail. And that's what really makes this work well, because the person using the device can see that they're moving their head. What if you have someone who's not quite ready for this? I want you to, to uh, go out to Walmart or get online and to Amazon or whatever, and there's a head pointers. They make that actually go on a headband, and then you can uh, get the wall chart from your local PRC consultant. And you can start by them just using a laser pointer on the wall. Works really well. But this trail, this trail basically really is helpful because then you can track your head's moving. It's, if it jumps around, if you have too big of buttons and it jumps from space to space, it's hard for the person to see that, 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 that this is what's happening. So I really like that. Uh, let me show you something else that's kind of cool about this. I don't like the black background, of course. It doesn't show you the line. But on here, when I have that set to black, it still gives me this trail. I really am impressed with that, that the grid still shows up. So now if I want to get up to the word brother, it still trails me, the tra gives me that trail that I can follow where my head's moving. Then when I get there, I'll smile. Brother. I really like that. I don't know about you, but that really is impressive to me. Good where I like, I like to talk brother. There we go. All right. So, back to settings, back to head pointing. Uh, boy, I know you're getting tired of me doing through this every time. And the last thing we left off with was tracking speed, trigger action. We've gone through all this. Pop, highlighting buttons. That's why I really like that. Cursor smoothing. Uh, cursor smoothing. Uh, I played with this quite a bit. Uh, if it's on high and you're using dwell especially so what it does is it lets it, it lets you move your head more this would be really important if you have like a little shake of your head like you know and I'm disclosing I have Parkinson's one reason why I'm kind of interested in this so let's say my head gets a shake to it right now you can't see what I'm doing but right now I'm shaking my head and it's not moving I'll go up to resume so right now I'm over I'm over the work I'm going to try to get the word work but I can't stop shaking my head I should change the video angle but right now I'm moving my head and I'm shaking like I have a tremor and it's not really moving much and it allows me to get that word I want work so if I change that setting now let me go to resume or pause if I change that setting now where I where it every little jitter it moves you're gonna every little shake of my head you're gonna see I'm gonna have a lot more trouble so when I get down here under uh, cursor smoothing, if I put that on low, what's going to happen is I, I, probably, I should have moved the camera a different angle. What I'm going to do now is resume again, and I'm going to pretend I have that shake again. So now I'm going to have that same shake and see what it does. It just keeps moving on me. So now I can't make it access. Like. I'm pretty good still, but if I want to do the word go, and I can't, can't stop shaking my head, it just keeps moving on me, and I can't figure out how to stop it. So there's where you get really a nice feature for someone maybe with Parkinson's or a kid with a shake. Uh, you go in there to settings, you get down there to smoothing. I'll get resume. Back going. All right. So I hope all these features are making sense. Now I'll show you. The best thing to do is just play with them. So I already, let's see, we got under trigger action. We got to highlight buttons, cursor smoothing, start paused. Uh, this one kind of confused me at first, but uh, this could be a problem if you're using Dwell. So what happens when you turn your iPad on, mine starts paused. So if I turn my iPad off, get out of Lamp Words for Life, if I go into it, it starts paused. See how it says resume? Well, it could be a problem with finding the head tracker if you have that on, on Dwell. See if I can make it, maybe it won't, it might not even work for me. Let's see. Yeah, no, I, I turned it back on myself. 
So I think this is only a problem if you have it, if you have that on hover. Let's try it another time and see what happens. I want you to learn the problem I think happens. So if you go in here, and I do like hover for myself, actually. I, like, I don't like have to make the body part. So if I go back in here, I go to head tra tracking and I change it to hover, my tap action smile works well for me. If I do hover, remember then, then once I do hover, I get one second. So now I'm gonna go down here to the bottom and leave that on. So right now, I'll do resume. I do love this feature where after it, see the little clock, I don't know if you can see it, but there's this clock going, kind of like a dial turning. Go. So if I can't stay on the spot very long, it still keeps that clock going. R. Then see how there's this green spot that R. shows up? That ends up giving me a, a, in this area now, I have a repair area of resting. It won't select that again until I come off and then come back on. R. It's really kind of slick, isn't it? So I get a I get a rest area. So if I hit the go, I don't. There's this green area that it won't activate. But once I come off that area, it would activate again. I don't know if that's if I'm saying that well. Go. Once I do that, I can stay in this rest area, that area that's got the green circle around it. I can stay in, and it's not going to activate again. But if I come off it and come back onto it, it activates, of course. Arr. Now here's where I think the problem is. If you turn your device Work. off, and you go to some other some other app or something, then I think what happens to you is if you, so I'm gonna go in here and, and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go back to lamp and it starts up on off, of course, because remember that's what we did, we told it to work. So right now, let's see if I can resume it. I can, so I don't see the big problem. All right, so I warned you about something that doesn't exist. Uh, there was something that I, what was giving me little fits, but I can't make it work now, so I think we're fine. Like. All right. I think that's all the settings. Four. I really hope you'll give it a try, and uh, I think you'll find that this head pointing option is really going to benefit a lot of kids and adults who in the past you know, may have thought that they had to use uh, another product or uh, something with bigger buttons when actually these... This, this size works really fine. All right. Okay. I hope, uh, I hope you have a, a good day, and I hope this little video helps you out in some way. Let us know if we can help you. I'll put my email on the, the, the video that we're, where we're posting it. Take care.